Guys, sometimes you feel like managing WordPress servers and sites is way harder than it should be. Slow dashboards, too many plugins, constant updates, and things breaking for no reason. Today I'm checking out FlyWP, a modern cloud server control panel built specifically for WordPress. It's designed to make both server and site management simpler, faster, and way less painful. I'm Daniel, and in this video, I'll walk you through what FlyWP is, how it works, and whether it lives up to the hype, especially if you're a developer, agency, or just managing multiple WordPress sites. Plus, I'll show you how to launch a server from scratch, create an instant site, and highlight smart features that actually make a difference. Guys, make sure you check out all the useful links in the description after watching this video. There might be some cool discounts there. Let's get into it. So, my friends, what exactly is FlyWP? FlyWP is a Docker-based cloud server management platform specially designed for WordPress, which keeps your sites isolated, secure, and lightning fast. The greatest thing about it is that you don't need to be a server expert. It simplifies everything, from launching a server to managing site backups, SSL, updates, and performance tuning, all from a clean, intuitive dashboard. Folks, you can connect, deploy, and manage multiple servers and sites in one place, and it supports both popular stacks, Nginx and Open Lightspeed for performance. Even if you're a developer, FlyWP has you covered too. It supports Bedrock, SSH access, Git integration, as well as WP CLI and more handy, dev-friendly built-in tools. Ok guys, let's jump right into setting up the server with the first step. Here's the screen where I can pick my cloud provider. I can go through FlyWP directly, which is a great option. That means I don't need to open a separate provider's website or deal with all the registration steps. It makes the process much simpler, since I can choose the server right from this dashboard. Folks, I can also connect existing providers like DigitalOcean, Amazon Web Services, Hetzner, or even set up my own server. For today, I'll connect it with DigitalOcean. Once I pick it, I get a form to enter my API credentials. The service needs an API token, so it can automatically manage the server inside my cloud account. I grab the key from my DigitalOcean account, drop it in, and then create the server. As soon as I launch it, guys, the setup process starts, and I can watch the deployment happen in real time. Within about a minute, the server is fully up and running. Here's the part you are really going to like, folks. On the left, there are tons of handy options to make managing servers super easy. With databases, I can spin up, manage, and optimize MySQL databases without ever touching the command line. SSH keys let me connect securely to my servers and handle key management. Setting up automated tasks and scripts is simple with cron jobs. Firewalls keep the servers safe, and I can easily control and tweak the rules, guys. I can also keep an eye on background processes and services. With supervisor daemons, I can track CPU, RAM, and disk usage in real time, making sure the server runs smoothly. On top of that, I can check server health, monitor the firewall, and adjust server settings whenever I need. And what's really cool about it is that it's all right there in a clean, intuitive sidebar menu. All right, folks, now let's spin up a brand new WordPress website. I hit create new site, and the platform gives me five different deployment options. First, there's Instant Site, the fastest way to set up a test domain. Then we've got the standard site for a basic WP install. Next up is WordPress Multisite, perfect if you need to run multiple sites. There's also Migrate Site, it's still in beta, folks. It lets you move your website from another host. And finally, there's the option to install from the repository guide, which is pretty straightforward. For this walkthrough, I'm going with Instant Site. While setting it up, guys, I can use a test domain, and it's nice that it supports both Nginx and Open Lightspeed, giving me flexibility in how I configure the web server. 
I can also pick my PHP version and even connect an external database from another provider if I want. There's also the Blueprint option, my personal favorite, and I'll dive deeper into that later. On top of that, I can enable full page caching, check a quick summary, and launch the new site. The process takes just a few moments, and done. The site is live, folks. Now, guys, I move on to the site's dedicated control panel. And this is where FlyWP really gives me full control. Up in the top right corner, there's a feature called Magic Login. Just click it, and you are instantly inside the WordPress dashboard. No credentials needed. Let's jump back to the panel. On the left, there's a full set of tools to manage the WordPress site, folks. Here are some of the most useful ones. From the dashboard, I can view current SSL certificates, delete them, or import existing ones. FlyWP also takes care of automatic SSL issuing and renewals with Let's Encrypt, so the site stays secure without me lifting a finger. The WP Config Manager makes it easy to tweak key WordPress settings without ever touching the config file. Guys, whether I prefer a managed interface or total manual control, it's all here, replacing dozens of plugins I'd normally need. Under security, there's a built-in 7G firewall. I can block unused protocols, restrict user access, protect the admin panel, and even disable themes or plugins if necessary. There's also the update manager. It shows me the current WordPress core, themes, and plugins, whether they are active, outdated, or inactive. And folks, I can update them all with a single click. No more FTP or cPanel. The file manager is built right in two. I can create folders, upload files, edit, delete, and even see details like file size or last modified date, all without leaving the dashboard. Uptime monitoring is included as well. I can track site availability in real time and get alerts the moment something goes down, so I can fix issues fast and keep the site running smoothly. Guys, FlyWP also has solid backup options letting me save backups to Amazon S3, Google Cloud Storage, Wasabi, or any S3 compatible storage provider. Finally, the settings tab gives me complete control. I can manage the domain, enable maintenance mode, clone or migrate the site, or delete it entirely. Under PHP settings, I can adjust the PHP version, memory limits, and execution time. So yeah, there's a ton of powerful tools here to manage WordPress, from performance to security to updates, all in a clean, simple interface. Guys, if you're working in a team, you can set up a multi-user environment, so your developers or clients can work safely without needing to share passwords. And here's another great feature – Blueprints. This lets you launch WordPress sites using reusable templates. For example, I can create a template that already includes my favorite plugins, theme, and even default user accounts. Everything is pre-configured, so when WordPress is installed, all of that comes with it automatically. Now let's talk about support, folks. I checked their reviews on Trustpilot and Hubsumo and hundreds of people say it's a solid product with top-notch support. They also have a very active Facebook community, where you can connect with others, share tips, and get help whenever you need it. On top of that, anyone can book a free 15-minute demo at a time that works for them. It's a one-on-one -on -one walkthrough with a specialist, which is a great way to see everything in action before you buy and fully dive in. Alright guys, so that pretty much wraps up my deep dive into FlyWP. Honestly, I think it's a solid option. If you're tired of juggling complicated setups or paying extra for fully managed WordPress hosting, the Blueprints feature alone can save you so much time. And I really like how everything, from backups to SSL to monitoring, is built right into the dashboard. If you're curious, folks, I definitely recommend giving it a try for yourself. I'll leave the link in the description so you can check it out. 
And hey, I'd love to hear what you think. Do you see FlyWP as a good alternative to Cloudways or RunCloud? Or are you sticking with your current setup? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I read every single one. As usual, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and till next time.